Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ananta with you. Today's topic is CC 3.1 latest question. This is the part 12. Part 1 to part, part 11, there are so many questions are there. Those people still not have seen this video. So please go to this channel, Welding NDT and Inspection and see this video so you can get the clear view. What is the question and how it is get the answer with correct explanation. So this is the part 12. So before start this video, I want to say I am a mechanical engineer. I am Ananta Gwyn and those people still not subscribe my channel. Please subscribe to get more notification to you and you can get the first viewer when you are subscribing the channel and hit the bell notification. So let's start. First question is in an arc welding process, the three variables to be essentially controlled to obtain a satisfactory weldment are. So in arc welding process, the three variable is very important. So which three variable is very important to obtain it means to get a satisfactory weldment. First is welding current and voltage and speed. Second is welding current, voltage and arc length. Third is welding arc length and speed. And option D is voltage, arc length and speed. So first you see here. What is it an welding current voltage and speed? So definitely welding current is required, welding voltage is required, welding speed also required. So you, we need to go to the next option, welding current, voltage and arc length. So arc length is not directly related to the WPS. If you see the WPS, the arc length, it is not related to the directly related to the WPS. So welding current, voltage and speed, it should be the correct answer. Welding arc length and speed, no, or voltage arc length and speed. So this will not be B, C and D, no, it will not be the correct option. Option A is the correct answer. Now we'll go the explanation. You see here, the arc welding is a welding process that is used to join metal. Means arc welding is the process that used to join metal is a, by using electricity to create enough heat to make weld metal, melt metal. So you see this is your two plate. This is your joint. Okay. So in this area, the enough heat need to be produced to mold the melting metal. And in this condition, so required is what current is required. It is a type of welding that use the welding power supply. So power supply need means its current need. So current, how it will be controlled by voltage. So current will be controlled by the voltage. So current is required, voltage is required and the speed. If it is speed more than the requirement, what will happen? Then the welding motor metal deposition will not be correct. So the, you cannot get the satisfactory result. So correct answer is option A. You see that just give one welding machine here. This is the elected electric electrode holder. You see this is electric is generating here electrode. This is the arc is generating here by power. And this is the you see here one work cable from here to here. And this is the electrode cable. So two cables is there. One is the work cable another is electrode cable. So you understand the first question is option A is the correct answer. Now we'll go to the question number second. In fusion welding process, penetration is the ratio of depth of weld to length, depth of weld to width, width of weld to the depth, and D is length of depth weld to depth. You see, here, this is your welding joint. What 
what is mentioned depth to well to length so this is your depth this is your depth and this is your length so depth is this one and length is if you go length is like this this is this is the width and this is the length here is going like this way and this is the plate so this is the length so depth of well to the length depth of well to width width of the well to depth and length of the well to depth so we should know in fusion welding process penetration is the ratio of well to width of the well to depth so width of the weld, this is the width of the weld and this is the depth. So this is the penetration. So because the current is generating, the amperage is coming here. This is the welding. This is the welding. So the penetration is coming like this way. So this is coming how? Your depth and this is your width. So depth to well to width so option b is the correct answer width of the well to the depth sorry width of the well to the depth this is the correct one the so option c is the correct answer question number three a welding arc emits three types of non-ionizing radiation which of the following types is likely to cause arc i a is infrared b is ultraviolet c is visible and none of the above so means in when you are doing the welding there emits three types of non-ionizing radiation radiation is generating this is non-ionizing so which type of radiation is for the arc i this is very important question which of the ionizing radiation is cause arc i infrared ultraviolet visible and none of this so the question is answer is very simple this is the ultraviolet uv is, it is always problem with your with your arc i you see here the explanation welding arc gives off radiation over a broad range of wavelength from 200 nanometers to 1400 nanometers this rating this range includes ultraviolet radiation 200 to 400 nanometer wavelength visible light and infrared radiation 700 to 1400 nanometer so ultraviolet radiation is 200 to 400 and infrared it is the 700 to 1400 nanometer so uv radiation is divided into three range one is uv a this is very important you should know uv a 315 to 400 nanometer uv b is 280 to 350 mm and uv c is 100 to 280 nanometer and UVC is all UVC and almost all UVB are absorbed in the cornea. So this is very dangerous. UVC and almost all UVB, it's very dangerous for the cornea of the eye. So UVA passes through a cornea and is absorbed in the lens of the eye. So this is very dangerous. You have to follow as a safety precaution for this welding arc emits when you are doing the welding arc welding so that cause the arc i means the ultraviolet radiation so answer will be option b some uv radiation you see here some uv radiation visible light and ir radiation can reach the retina so it is very dangerous so answer b is the correct one option b Question, you see, the, the this is details here, just read here. UV rays welding will produce ultraviolet rays that are harmful to the human eye and skin. Proper protection is needed to avoid bodily harm. So proper protection, if it is there, then we can protect this UV rays. Arc rays are 10 times brighter than the sun and can injure the eye. Means if the arc rays mean the UV rays, this is very brighter than the sun, so it is it can injure your eyes and burn skin. And precaution must be taken to protect your eyes and skin from UV radiation. The welding arc is brighter than the sun. So the welding arc, this is the brighter than the sun, that is that's why it is very dangerous. So how to get the protection? 
So inside helmet you have to require safety glasses under the helmet is it required gloves is required arm and body protection you have to put jacket shoulder covers and coveralls so this is the uv rays the one description is there the clear idea question number four the distance between the root and toe of a fillet weld is called the reinforcement b is leg length c is root gap d is throat thickness the distance between the root and toe of a fillet oil so this is your fillet oil distance root and toe this is the toe of the fillet oil so this is called the distance between the root and toe of a fillet oil is all called the leg length. So you should know here from here to here. See here to here. This is the leg length. This is the leg length. And this is the you can see here from here to here. This distance is throat thickness. This is the throat thickness. So this is the very important question. Also normal questions. See here. The question number four the correct answer will be option b the coating question number five the coating factor used to make medium coated electrode is 1.25 to 3 1.4 to 1.5 option c is 1.6 to 2.2 and option d is above 2.2 explanation is there coated electrode are classified according to the coating factor coating factor is the ratio of the diameter of the electrode to the diameter of the core wire. So following are subtypes of the coated electrode. One is light coated electrode with coating factor of 1.25. A light coating applied to electrode helps to remove impurities such as oxidize and phosphorus. So light coated means 1.25. So the correct answer will be medium means it should be 1.4 to 1.5. So correct answer option B is the correct one. Question number C, the part of DC welding generator what converts AC supply voltage to DC out welding output voltage is A is armature, B is carbon brushes, C is commutator, D is field coils. So this is very important question. The part of DC welding generator that converts AC supply voltage to DC welding output voltage is Commutator, the part of a DC welding generator that converts AC supply voltage, DC welding output voltage is called the commutator. The answer C is the correct option. An apron is a safety accessory used to protect for front body of the welder, B, eyes of the welder, C, hands of the welder, D, head of the welder. So apron, why you are used for safety accessory? Because of the front body of the welder always not eyes of the welder hands of the welder heads of the welder apron is safety accessory used to protect front body of the welder so uh, option a is the correct answer question number eight property of substance to oppose the flow of electric current through it is trauma so to the opposing of flow of electric current that is called resistance definitely electrical conductivity electric resistance density and the electric pressure so this is opposing the electric current means the resistance so answer b means option b is the correct answer option question 9 which of the following process is not a resistance welding process spot welding projection welding per percussion welding and the friction welding so which one is not the resistance welding process definitely friction welding is not the resistance welding process question number 10 a solid inclusion in a welder may be interrupt slug interrupt gas lack of interrun fusion option d is none of the above solid inclusion in a welder so definitely explanation explanation is this is solid not gas so this is solid means 
definitely it is slack so answer a option a is the correct answer question number 11 for fillet welds it is normal practice in uk uk and usa measure throat thickness leg length penetration depth and both one and three for fillet weld it is the normal practice to uk and uk and usa it is leg length always we have to check the leg length of the fillet weld for easy checking on site so answer b is the correct option b is the correct answer question number 12 heavy porosity on the surface of some mmo welds made on a construction site is most likely to be caused by use the wrong class of electrode use of excessive current moisture pickup in the electrode covering a bad batch of electrode so if you see in heavy porosity some of the construction site the welder is when the welding pin is that is porosity you can see so what what is happening actually wrong class of electrode no wrong class of electrode only not it will not come the so much porosity it, it will become but it is not so much use of excessive current excessive current not only for the heavy porosity moisture pickup in the electrode covering this is very important though moisture is, is picked up in the electrode covering so it can be too much porosity in the welding a bad batch of electrode definitely it will be one cause but we have to choose the best option so option answer c is when option c is the correct option you see gas pores porosity excessive moisture in flux or penetration contaminant preparation low welding current arc length is too long damage electrode flux and removal of gas seal so best option is excessive moisture in flux or preparation means moisture pickup in the electric covering question number 13 slag inclusion may be present is manual metal arc welds b is metal inert gas welds c is metal active gas welds d is all welds slag inclusion may be present in you see here most welding defect in mma are caused by lack of welder skill the incorrect setting of the equipment or the incorrect use means mean to say means some of the electrode process we cannot do manually but only in manual welding we can see the for incorrect setting of equipment and incorrect use there are come there could be defect will be generated slag inclusion arc strike porosity undercut step defect so definitely that inclusion may be present in the answer will be the answer option a manual metal arc welding so if you do manually it could be there could be more chance to get the flag inclusion option a is the correct answer question number 14 the main cause of undercut is excessive amperes excessive ocb excessive travel speed current too low definitely excessive amperes if it is amperes is more current is more definitely it could be generated more undercut is there excessive welding current welding speed if it is too high incorrect electrode angle if it is there excessive weaves and the electrode cooler this is a cause for the undercut cap undercut so these are the 14 question is very important question with their explanation it will be helpful for you those are working as a welding inspector or those are want to attend the exam for the uh, the welding inspector so thanks a lot those people still not subscribe my channel please hit the like button and share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video and take care and see you soon in next video thanks a lot